What's up everyone, Nighthawk or uh, Kaden here, and today I thought I'd just create a little time lapse video just as like a test, just to see what, what this would look like, just, and just something for fun here. So what you're currently looking at is just me uh, drawing some concept art for a drift truck that I want to build later in the summer when I get out of college, my freshman year of college here, and I'm just I'm, I'm just trying to figure out like what's what's the right length for the re the rear track and whatnot. I mean, I I, I really don't have like, like I don't know what's the best way to describe it. I'm, I'm kind of just like free handing and draw this. I mean, I don't know like uh, any particular measurements yet or what I need to do. So I'm kind of just drawing this out just as a concept here. As you, you can see, I'm just kind of just shading in, and I just realized this might not be a really long or long enough drift track for my really tall self added in the bumper and I'm thinking because I drew this ahead of time on some sketch or some notepad paper but I'm transferring over just this engineering paper that I had stock of and then I realized at this point that the track was too short for me so I decided to make some reference lines there and I erased the rear tire here and then I just went and continued with the frame the framework here um, just pretty much starting from the front and going to the back right now you you can see here that I'm drawing the seat for the side view here I'm just planning good I'm planning to use maybe perhaps a just just this, this like a cluster of seat and just take off that seat and just chop chop it up get some angle iron so the material I'm also thinking of using is some box iron or, or square tubing of, of some sort and I've already got the a mountain bike for the front of the bike or the trike and it also covers the steering because pretty much, you know, Colin first took a or took a front of a BMX bike and then just turned that or applied that to his drift bike that he made himself. Here and you can. All right, at this point, I'm now adding some like a back brace for the chair just because for aesthetics, and then also that's going to be a rear buffer component, which was the last thing that I drew over here. Um, so now I'm trying to just guess like a rear a rear tire size based off of my reference lines and, and I decided okay this is too small so I made the tire a little bit bigger going a little over my reference lines which is okay and then I've just tried to make it all nice and tidy from here I've put, I drew the PVC sleeve and then the tire inside and then I realized that it didn't look good so I just erased it and then I cleaned it up just a little bit went a little bit slow here and then I got it right and I did the tire and then and then what did I do? I start shading in here, make it look all nice and pretty. Had some nice aesthetics here. So, the reason why I'm building a drift track. So last Christmas, I got a Predator 212cc engine because I wanted I, I wanted some kind of motorized vehicle, and I was thinking to put it on my PPC pedal car uh, Beta, my American Speech to Sidekick. But then I realized, okay, the thing's four years old. It's already can do 36 miles per hour with its 18-speed uh, drivetrain, and I think it's it, it it just feels like too much for for that antique bike. So I'm like, you know what? Why don't we build your track? So. I got. I have to give out some shoutouts here. I mean, cars and cameras. I've been watching them this entire time. They've got a 420cc uh, turbo track build, so I kind of took some inspiration from them. But again, it's just, this isn't going to be uh, anything ridiculous as them. But just just a little starter build, just to see what I can do. So I'm just drawing a mock-up version of the Predator 212 here in the back of the of the trike, and. Earlier, this little, those little rectangles in the front and back. I, I'm thinking of adding some head and tail lights. I've been experimenting with lighting up the sidekick as well, but since it's going to be pretty much metal, it should be easier since I can have something to ground to. So I'm just sitting here thinking, what else can I add? What else can I do? And then I get ready to start on this next clip here you're about ready to see. Um, right here. So this is going to be the top down view here. I'm just going to start by creating some. Uh, reference lines here to help guide me in semi-accurate measurements and again even though it's not like I, I didn't put any measurements here because again this is just concept art I'm not, I'm not sure what's gonna be the official dimensions because I need to measure out like the angles of like my mountain bike that I'm gonna cut up and then like how long is this brace from the steering column to down to where this chassis is gonna be fabricated so yeah um, so I'm just drawing out some axles and I'm just drawing the fork as well, lining up. 
most most minimum. So now I'm work now I'm working on these uh, handlebars uh, system here. Just just making sure everything's all nice and lined up. Nothing too special. I don't know what else I can commentate on. Um, I could commentate my bill of materials here. I mean, I was look I was researching what was the best deal. I was going to do Go Power Sports, but then when I when all all of it added up, it was over three hundred dollars. And this my. <laughs> My bill of materials here that I composed in Microsoft Excel is around 300, but it's not as crazy as Go Power Sports. I really want to go with Go Power Sports, but BMI Cards uh, gave me a drivetrain total of $308.65. Um, this is just for like their drift track axle kit with clutch, uh, PB bearings, a number 40 chain, a and then the necessary tires and wheels, and then also I'm going to order their throttle twist grip assembly and then a motor a 9x5 motor mounting plate so just keeping that in mind that all adds up to three hundred eight dollars and sixty five cents prices can vary as the as the year goes by so at this point now I'm starting to like draw up draw up the rear just making more reference lines for all the components on this on the side view up up above and then I'm now adding the this like the the detail of the bars or the metal the bars so for the sleeves of the trike I'm thinking of just using some Home Depot uh, 10 inch PVC pipe because that's the tires I have got matched up with here I'm using 9 no 11 by 6 or 11 by 6 dash 6 uh, racing slicks um, again courtesy of BMI carts and yeah so now I'm just establishing here the uh, vertical brace that holds the seat in place if I'm not mistaken and then I'm starting to figure out like like how wide are these tires going to be I mean this is this I'm not drawing six inches accurately here but I'm regardless I'm just just gonna draw what looks legit I mean again results can vary so I started with that and then I realized okay the, the tires I feel like should be a little bit thicker so I add some extra thickness here and then I fly to the other side and I'm like, okay, this tire on the on the on the right side is thicker, so let's fix that on the left side. And then I apply that there. I'm gonna just erase all that detail there. And then I find the center, like the center access point, and then make that a reference line so I can draw my uh, what is it? 40. I think it's a 40 inch uh, live axle. I'm I'm going to do a live axle here because you'll see why here in just a second. There's me drawing out the rear bumper that I want to put in for aesthetic purposes. I might not need like the extra detail behind the wheels there, but it, I thought it would be pretty cool. So as you can see, I'm also fixing up the wheels because there, it looks like they're touching the bumper. And then I'm kind of just adding in some uh, shading detail of the tire. The white spot is basically the sleeves and then the shading that I just did is the, the exposed tire. If I'm not mistaken, I'm, I could be wrong on this, but again, concept art. So I'm just drawing in or and then those uh diagonal braces. Get that go kart feeling. And then you can see I'm making some more reference lines for the seat. Um in my original sketchup I did them on uh just basic note notebook paper. I had the seat touched it up against the uh chassis here, but I haven't um like I, I, I didn't realize until later here in this time lapse here. You can see I'm drawing this little handbrake. That's gonna come later in the build, like when I have more money to get a, like a disc brake for the rear axle. The only brake I'm gonna have is gonna be the uh, caliper brake that is applied with, or that comes with the front fork of my bike I'm gonna chop up. You can see I'm adding some more uh, cross braces just to hold the seat down. And then here comes the live axle drawing, nice and simple. And then I'm starting to draw the top-down view of the Predator 212. It might not be perfectly aligned and not to scale from the top-down view, but who knows. I was thinking of putting it on the left side, but I think it might be more legit to put it on the right. I'm not too sure, but again, I might change that when I go to build this. And I'm just putting it in the head and tail lights for the top-down view. And yeah, I think that's about it with this time lapse. I think the last thing that I do here is I'm fixing up the seat because I realized, oh, wait a minute, this is supposed to stretch out to the chassis. And again, it's... Yeah, then I, then I just shade the, the bicycle tire and just just for looks. And then the last part of this time lapse after I after I finish up this little detail is me making the 
just just some nice little graffiti art for the name of this trike. I'm gonna call this uh, the Sidewinder. That's S I D E W I N D E R, and then the whole operation is called Operation Sidewinder, which is pretty much the bill of materials, concept art, etc., etc. And yeah, so I, at this point, there's nothing else to say really. But if you, hopefully you guys enjoyed this cute little time lapse. Um, if you just tell me what you think so far, but other than that, I have been Nighthawk, and I will see you guys later.